welcome back again today we will see how we can copy the names of a file into your excel sheet i mean you, there are a lot of many of excel sheet, you know uh, available there are a lot of many of people who have already briefed about this but my intention is to ensure that you get the final detail in a very uh, stuffed way wherein you can do the things on your own now step by step formula i will be uh, letting you know so let's start the first formula which we will put will be will be cell now since i, I have kept my reference therefore in case i miss something the steps i should tell you so just type in in fact let me do it a big bigger uh, into a, a small bigger font why because it will make it more readable to you i hope now I, i will be more clear now here you just write cell in a bracket you write file name now what exactly it does it basically gives you the file name of this particular cell now at times you will see that you have given a formula but it is not giving me anything why because this self function will not work unless and until you save a file because what it does it gives you the current address of the of the file and if the file is not saved definitely there will be no address for that now i'm going it to my in my document and just saving it as at as a test test excel so i've just saved it now so now this formula now it should work so it might take i mean to uh, it might uh, need it to refresh it something like that but let me again close it and again reopen it so the f f the f formula is in front of you uh, the file name is in front of you now it has given me the file name which says that we are into this folder slash this is the name of the file and this this is the sheet where we are, we are working now my next step would be to extract this up till uh, the folder part i will just remove the name of the file and the sheet name so in order to do so i will be using the formula next will be find the value i will try to find this because this is where from where i need to extract now within text it says i mean i need to find this i will be pressing enter so it says me 23 now there are something small small things which i need to just concentrate on comma 1 and i need to give it minus 1 now why because when i say when i do not say minus 1 it will give me the value of this but my intention is to take the value of the slash so i need to go back one so that i can take the value of a slash so that is why i am subtracting one minus 1 and one is a formula basically we want to get it from the first stuff once i have it in my in front that this is 22nd column i need to extract now i will be using the next one will be this formula i will try to e extract from the left hand side and i will be giving the formula the same these two formula will be combined now the earlier two that is first and second and those will be combined here now the moment you see those formula are combined left cell file name comma find this value cell <coughs> function in bracket again file name comma bracket close comma 1 minus 1 just for my ease i have written that formula over there so that mistakes could be avoided so this is where we are now the next is i need to find the length so length of what so i need to find the the the, the length of this first i need to find there are how many see now now my point is i need to give it a, give it a asterisk at the end here so i if i need to find uh, if i need to give an asterisk over here what we need to do we need to find how many slashes are there and after the last slash put an asterisk so for that why are i am doing i'm just trying giving my formula called find and i'm trying to say what text you need to find so you need to find this text then within this within this comma i hope any start numbering is not there so just on 
enter something missing or a comma is more so it says three now see it is one two three four but it says three why is it says three because it starts from zero so it has to go to four so now when it goes to four now my half of the work is done now next what i will do is i will be using the next formula of mine that will be substituting this slash with what I may need to do, I need to copy the entire formula, I mean entire value and then put an asterisk here. So for that what I will do is I will use substitute, substitute, which text you need to substitute. So I need to substitute this, this, comma, old text what it needs to find, so it need to find the slash, comma, new text should be this slash and an asterisk done comma which instance which position in my case this is the position so already length has given me that position so i will be closing it so this is in front of you now once i have made this these all calculations clear so now i'm done with my work what could be done now all these four formulas or five formulas could be combined in one formula and th that is uh, to be used now next is what i'm going to do is next i'm going to create a name range go to this formula define name here in give it a name file detail or whatever file detail here in what you need to mention here you need to mention in refers to you just mention equal to files ensure equal to then files start a bracket and put this value here i mean the 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 the, the extract path which we have extracted the path which we have now press enter now this is done once this part is over now our part is we are ready with our array which is having the entire uh, you know uh, the directory in the file list now we need to extract the file from there one by one so what i'm going to do is i'm using a function called index in index i will say so the name of the file so probably uh, if you can see what what the name we had given i can go into the name manager and we have given file detail the name of my name range so i will just go you can go at any location just go at any location say index index file detail comma one let's see so the name of the file is already here if we can go and see that should be the name of our file So basically it takes in ascending order so definitely ascending order I means that 305 file must be here there somewhere so rather than do this let us do this that will be more easy for us see this is 305 you can see this is the file it has taken so it has ascended order in its manner 3 comes before 6 or something like that now for the second file just this one needs to make two so the second file is here now what i am trying to do rather than uh, doing one two three four five six i will modify this formula and here i will say rows and the first you can take any column as such so there is no points as such uh, i mean uh, there is no this is only to do a mere counting so a1 to a1 how much it comes it one comes one and the first a1 should be freezed up why because every time i want to start from a1 so a1 to a2 a1 to a1 will be one then a1 to a2 will be two a1 to a3 will be three so the moment we will copy the formula that will automatically be changed according to the value according to the value now i hope uh, things are going to right tracks right now rows correct now i'm copying this i'm copying this just go on copying so all the files in that folder will start coming what i can do is i can copy it to the eternity how many files is there now let's go bottom and see still there are files remaining more files is there still i copy uh, see so it normally copied the file till the time it found i mean till uh, a161 161 files have been copied the moment there is no 162nd file 
so it is giving me a reference so in order to remove these kind of error what we can do is we will ask it to just remove the error by adding something called if error this is this, this, this comma blank just copy the same to the entire next slot now you can see all has been removed all blank has all that error has been removed by blank and till the time it got the file it copied the file 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 so this is the final formula in front of you which does all the trick so i will try to paste this formula combination in my uh, comment section in my read more section so that you can just copy in case if you want to do it on your own that would be better you can just try it out take care